Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your Google Calendar with Notion. By integrating the two platforms, you'll be able to seamlessly manage your events, tasks, and deadlines all in one place. So let's simply get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, of course, we should start with opening a new browser. For me here, I'm just going to open my Brave browser. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser you have in your PC, such as Google Chrome, Opera, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or even Brave like me, or any other browser you have. Maybe if you have Max, there's Safari and etc. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type Google Cal calendar sorry calendar and hit the enter button and that should take you to this simply click on this google calendar which is the first link and as you can see here of course okay let me just first change the language of course if you're having any trouble with uh, changing the language you can always go down to the bottom of the site and as you can see you can change the language from here choose whatever language once you click on the language on the bottom right you can change the language to whatever you want of course i'm just going to choose english and here of course you can always come here to the top uh, corner and see the pricing plans because of course you can use it for free but of course they have some plans that will include not just google calendar will include every google application including gmail drive google meets google calendar chats jamboard Docs, cheat slides, keep sites and forms. Of course, the most popular one is this one with, with 12 bucks per month. And of course, there's the business starter pack. We can just pay $6 per month. And there's the business plus and enterprise. Of course, every plan comes with its own feature. If, if, if there is a feature that is uh, already on the first one, of course, you can find that they increase something in the feature. Of course, for enterprise like plan, you will have to contact the sales so you can get your plan. And you can always go down here if you want to compare the plans. You can also see the free, uh, this business starter, business thunder, business plus. You'll see them all here. And there's here the enterprise. As you can see, all the features that comes with it. That means a check mark. If there is something like that, that means this does not come with the plan and of course there is the participation here increase as you can see in this feature this is will increase as as you can see and etc so of course let's just go back now into this page as you can see here if you don't have an account you can always or if you have if you have an account you can always click at sign in and simply enter your email or phone number then click on next then simply enter your password and you'll be good to go if you don't have an account make sure to click at get started and you can choose if you want to use this for a personal use or for a work or business use so choose whatever suits you as an example for me is going to be a personal use so here make sure to fill your username as an example it's going to be something like that last name should be something like that the username so of course this is going to be your email so make sure to enter a good thing not just like me i'm just showing you what to do and the password of course make sure to use eight or more characters with a mix of letters numbers and symbols so you cannot or you will not be hacked so let's take an example i'm just going to use here some letters some numbers some special symbols or something like that and i will need to confirm it here then of course i can always click to show password if to check if uh, it's the same password and once you're done simply click on next and you will have your account for me, I already have an account, so let me just go and even close all of this. Open the normal Brave because I was opening a cognito to show you how to create an account. For me here, I'm just going to type calendar and that will take me to the Google Calendar directly right here, as you can see. And from here, I'll be able to do a lot of stuff with this Google Calendar. And of course, I'm using just the free plan. There, There is a free plan. You can use it without paying anything, of course. So don't worry about paying if you don't want to. So now let's just get back to the main idea is, which is of course connecting Notion to Google Calendar. Of course, the first uh, thing that we need to do is create an integration between your Google Calendar and Notion. To do this, you will need to use a tool called Zapier. Just open a new tab, type zapier.com and hit the enter button and that will take you to the home screen or main screen of Zapier. Or here, if you have an account, make sure to log in into it and if you don't have an account, 
you can always go and create your own. Of course, you can log in into your accounts with Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and SSO if you have it. If you don't want to get through the boring steps of, of logging in into your account, and if you don't have an account, click on sign up and you will be able to do the same. You can sign up or sign up with Google, Facebook, or Microsoft or fill in those manually. For me, I'm just going to sign up with Google. As an example, choose this account. And so let's just wait for the account until it's created. Here, you all have to answer some questions. As an example, let's just do this, this, continue. And here, we can simply as you can see, what apps do you use? You can simply here enter the apps that you use. For me, I'm just going to skip this step. And here, I'll have to connect like Google Calendar. Uh, here is it. With Notion, as we said. Here is it. So we are good to go. Now, as you can see, when this happened, as an example, when an event's canceled or if it's an end, is ended, when new calendar, when new updates events, when events starts, events or new events or new events matching, you would like like your notion to do something like. So select whatever you want to connect them to, together. Of course, you can even like do the opposite thing. You can start here with notion and do here calendar. And here are, as an example, now where a new database item, you can simply go and create calendar or find events or quick add events. And let's say, as an example, it's going to be quick add event. Click on try it. And of course, here you will have the option of adding another actions. If you want, you can add another action. Like if something goes here, you can do something like that. For me, I'm just, just going to do that right now. Because what we actually need to do now is simply sign in to my Notion account by clicking on sign in. They'll open a new tab for me. I'll have to sign in into my Notion account here. So if you have an account, make sure to sign in into it. If you don't, you can also just go and create your own, then come back and sign in and you can continue with your Google or Apple. Once you sign in here, you can just go and sign in to your calendar account. Click on sign in and this will appear to you and sign in into your account again and you will be good to go. You will successfully integrate Notion with your Google Calendar. So now that you set up everything, of course, you can also test it out. You can create a new event in Google Calendar, make sure it appears in Notion database, or you can do the opposite thing. So that's it for this video, uh, the how to connect your Notion with Google Calendar or Google Calendar with Notion. So by integrating the two platforms, you'll be able to streamline your workflow and keep all your tasks and events organized in one place. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.